Welcome to Progress. In Ingolstadt on February 9th, 2021, the new e-tron GT was presented to the global public. But before this happened and the Audi e-tron GT could hit the road, a number of stages and hurdles had to be overcome. It took time and visionary thinking. The Audi Prologue in 2014 was the starting signal. With it, elegance and sportiness came onto the road, making Vorsprung durch Technik visible. It was the beginning of a completely new design language. But let's start where every brilliant idea is born, on a blank sheet of paper. Our car development process is about four years, and in the first two years, we were engaged in design. It usually starts with a sketch. We actually always do that in a competition. 10 to 15 people design an e-tron GT, for example, and afterwards, we cut down, and then we look and after a certain time, we see which one is better, and then we reduce it to two designs. In the end, one remains. That's the normal design process. With the e-tron GT, it was like there was never one. We built a proportion model on this platform and then realized that this proportion model already looks so exciting that we didn't even start the design process. The result is the most beautiful car in the history of Audi, and there has been no design process. In 2018, the show car wowed the press when it was unveiled in Los Angeles. It was a car that had to be appealing, but also had to carry the environmental idea within it. I still remember when we presented the car in LA. There was great feedback from journalists and the trade press. And every second person said, nice show car, but it will never go into series production like this. And the great thing is that we have implemented the car one-to-one. -one. But the implementation had to be fast and required completely new measures in tool making. The approach had to be completely rethought. A precise approach was needed to not already fail in the preparation phase. It required the cooperation of a team of visionary minds and skilled craftsmen from a wide variety of fields. We come from one side, of course, from project management. We have determined the function and positioning of the vehicle. We come from the technology side and bring all the components to fulfill this function. And then, of course, there is also the design side, with corresponding ideas of what such a vehicle could look like. After this, we have to work together very intensively. Let me give you an example. We have a very large battery that we have to accommodate, which we want to place very deep in the vehicle floor in order to keep the center of gravity low. In this vehicle, we have come up with a concept where there is a recess at the bottom of the battery where the feet go. So we are able to develop the overall ergonomics of the vehicle, despite the battery at the bottom and a flat roof line. For this, a place was needed where technology and craftsmanship can be combined. The Bullinger Höfe in Heilbronn is part of the Neckars Ohm site. From its conception, it was designed as a small-scale production facility with innovative and flexible processes, which have now been expanded. State-of-the-art facilities have been built on the body shop and assembly areas, and new logistics halls with an area of around 10,000 square meters have been created. Here, where previously only the Audi R8 rolled off the production line, the e-tron GT was now also to be built on the assembly line. A challenge, because in order to integrate the e-tron GT, production had to be expanded and upgraded and converted during ongoing operations. In the process, the company succeeded in making high performance and environmental awareness go hand in hand. The e-tron GT is produced using 100% green electricity and CO2 neutral heat from renewable sources. Producing two so technically different vehicles on one assembly line is unique in the group. Body construction of the two very different models is carried out separately, but assembly takes place together on one line. We had the best conditions here to integrate an additional vehicle like the e-tron GT into the existing workflows and at the same time acquire new competencies in the areas of electrification, digitalization and automation. 
It is an interplay of craftsmanship and smart factory, but many new methods were established with the integration of the all-electric four-door coupe. This began with the planning of the assembly processes, which were carried out virtually in many areas. In the body shop, correlation-free measurement was introduced. In assembly, the 3D printer proved to be very helpful. Good exterior car design is always based on perfect proportions. You could call the exterior design almost a quattro sculpture. We have no other car in our lineup with such huge muscles on top of all four wheels. For the first time, we bring the evolution of this inverted face onto the road. Inverted face means for us, we covered our well-known single frame, brighten it up and put it into a black mask. From 100 meters away, you will clearly see it's an Audi and in the same time you see it's electric. My favorite detail about the Audi e-tron GT is actually the rear muscle. Quattro is a very important gene in the Audi DNA, and the e-tron GT really makes that visible. Extreme muscles on all four wheels, but the rear muscle was also very challenging. First of all, it's the strongest muscle we've ever made. That's because you have to pull it in the sheet metal, so to speak, in the side section. That means we come out of the cab, go over the muscle, and into the wheel. This was also very challenging, especially in tool making, that you can pull the sheet metal like that. At this one point at this cut, we were modeling the rear muscle for almost three months. A difficulty that the technicians had to face with the highest degree of craftsmanship. The side section of the e-tron GT has a draw depth of 350 millimeters. That is unique at Audi. Combining that with the high quality standards we have for all our products and getting it right is where craftsmanship helps us, especially in the attachments. Getting the doors to be flush with the side section with the appropriate gap. That we can deliver every product in the same high quality. Another challenge for the team in production was to manage the production of the R8 on the one hand and to integrate the production of the e-tron GT into assembly and these processes on the other. What particularly impressed me now was how the enthusiasm our employees have always had for the R8 transferred so quickly to the e-tron GT. And now they are building a high-performance electric vehicle with the same passion. For us, the e-tron GT is the beginning of a new era, the entry into an electric age. It is not only our first flat-bottom battery electric vehicle, it is also the first F vehicle that we are producing in Germany the first RS vehicle that is electric, and also the RS vehicle with the highest power output. A fully electric vehicle that is technically sophisticated and also impresses Formula E racer Lucas de Grassi. With the Audi e-tron GT, it's very special because on top of four-wheel driving with independent motors, so you have electronic speed torque vectoring control between the front and the rear axles. You have at the same time four-wheel steering. What does this represent in real world? You are maximizing the tire capacity at every single point. So in slow speed, the car is just much more agile, and in high speed, the car is much more stable. It's the holy grail um, of uh, what you want to achieve with sports dynamics 